Welcome, my friends. Today, we're going to be taking a look at disarming as learned from the teachings of Fiore de Libri. We're not going to be dissecting his plays directly. Instead, we're going to be watching some of my own sparring footage of chances that I've had to disarm or control an enemy's weapon. Because things get messy in sparring matches, sometimes the plays don't necessarily work. It's very hard to do them in a fast-paced environment, and oftentimes the opponent can do unexpected things where the play goes awry or we just miss. When this happens, it's important to be able to improvise. So today, we're going to be looking at my disarms, not using Fiore's plays directly, but instead operating off of a few principles. First, we're going to be practicing what I like to call catch and release. Now this is something found throughout Fiore's plays, wherein you block the incoming attack, you close the distance between yourself and the enemy, and with your free arm, you take control of the situation. Now let's take a look at the first way we're gonna approach disarming. This is gonna be done by shoving or pushing the shoulder, the arm, the wrist, or the hand. In this, we're biding our time and waiting for our moment to leap into the enemy, doing a hard stiff arm as we try to push them away. And as you can see, they come off balance. We bring our weapon in for the strike, our catch and release. Now, taking a look at our second option, we're gonna be looking at controlling the weapon. So when an opponent is attacking and you get the gap closed, but perhaps Shoving just isn't gonna work. They may be very sturdy, or there might not really be a good angle to push. Then we wanna consider approaching the weapon itself. In this, you can see as we grab for the handle, we grab for the hilt, the blade, or again, the hand. And we want to move that weapon out of our way and then release our blade as we move for our kill. And now our third option. So here, we're seeking to disable the enemy's arms entirely. So if we can't control the weapon, we're gonna do the next best thing and control the thing holding it. And as you can see here, we're attempting to engage, get real close, and then actually wrap our arms around the enemy's arms, bracing them against ourselves and preventing them from using that weapon any further. You may take a couple of punches, but as long as they can't attack with that weapon, it's your game to win. And now that we've seen what the disarms look like when they're working, here's a good example of what happens when they don't work. That's all for today, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And of course, if you have, leave us a comment, tell us what you think, and let us know what other kinds of videos you'd like to see. Skull. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like, subscribe, and share button to help this channel grow. Skull.